Hey guys, welcome back to the Friday Vlog, where we discuss activity that goes on here with the Buzzweaver channel. That includes things like current events, headlines that are in the news, pop culture, social media, technology, and items of interest that come up during the week, including shorts, that allow us to have a little bit of a dialogue. I want to thank all you guys across New Tech, as well as here on YouTube, for all of your guys' continued support. We start things off from the Albany Herald in New York, the capital of New York, in case everyone was wondering. Alaska Airlines has created a coffee that it says tastes better in the sky. Now, I got up early this morning because I will be doing some beta testing for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, if anyone is particularly interested. But nonetheless, drinking bad coffee is just one of the many downsides of flying. Alaskan Airlines think it has a solution. Now, I am a big coffee drinker. I enjoy coffee each day. It is like a routine, a ritual, as it were. Hopefully you guys are too. Let me know down in the comments if you're a coffee drinker and enjoy coffee. Alaska has created a custom blend with Portland-based Roaster Stumptown to make a coffee that's immune from the altitude-changing effects that airborne-served coffee typically creates, including tasting bitter and weak. And you definitely don't want any coffee that's bitter or and weak, unless you want Starbucks, which is a burnt coffee. But, you know, I think they make a vanilla or, or what is it, a... Uh, some some other blend that isn't the burnt coffee. I think they call it blonde or some some other term for not burnt coffee. The custom coffee, a first for a major airline, will exclusively be served on every Alaskan flight, including its regional carrier Horizon Air by December 1st. So all of you guys there in Seattle, Washington, or other areas of the world, or, or parts of the United States as well, if you guys are planning on going to Alaska and take Alaska, uh, you know, Alaska Air or Horizon, you're going to be all set for your coffee. Taste and spells are inextricably combined. And, inextricably combined? Wait, taste and smell are inextricably combined, yes. And people's sense of smell is significantly altered in the sky. Of course, I was going to mention that earlier, but I'll let the article explain that. Food and drinks taste different because pressurized cabins lower blood oxygen levels which reduces the ability of olfactory receptors, i.e. the ability to smell. Thank you very much for that explanation there, uh, Albany Herald. The extremely dry air of the cabin with its humidity levels lower than that of the Sahara Desert also affects the nose. So this is kind of a tongue-in-cheek kind of article here, but I wanted to bring you something lighter for this Friday. And, uh, you know, I'm kind of early, kind of groggy, groggy here a little bit. Trying to get language out, trying to trying to make words happen, trying to be articulate to you guys. But for all you coffee drinkers, this video on this Friday vlog was for all of you guys. But I do support, I do, do support, I do appreciate all of your guys' support across New Tech as well as here on YouTube on this uh, rather light and casual Friday. For all of you fellow coffee drinkers, make sure you smash that like button to show your support of enjoying a nice cup of coffee. And, of course, guys, that's what I had for you this Friday. All right, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for this Friday vlog. Thank you for the likes, the shares, and the comments. And, of course, below this video, you can find the various social media links that I belong to, as well as if you are a Prime member or order from Amazon frequently, I have my influencer links below this video. If you guys use those as your landing page, of course, it helps out the channel, and it's greatly appreciated. So thanks to all you guys across New Tech, as well as here on YouTube, for your guys' continued support. And, of course, appearing there on the screen, that would be the channel icon. You guys can click on to subscribe, as well as to select notifications. That way you know when there's content here on the channel. And I'll see all you guys right there behind the Galaxy phone next week.